Hello, it's me, Leo the La Lion, and we're going to try something new on the channel. So we're going to do a My Diary series. This will happen once a month. It'll just be a recap of significant events that have occurred during the last couple of weeks within the month that I like or I have something to talk about so that there will be more content on the channel uh, so that my partner feels a little bit more fair in terms of uh, content generation, all right? So without further ado, let's get into it. So I want to touch upon the uh, interview process that I've been going through. So these past couple of weeks, I've applied for two positions. One's a senior team leader position at my old apartment, Records and Distribution. The other, it's an assistant manager position for Operation Process Strategy. That one is for rewards, which is visa related, and basically handles different procedures and just looks at um, updating them if required or if there's something in the procedure that the agents don't understand, then they, it comes to us. It's a last line of defense in terms of escalations, basically. The first one for record would be a team manager position for six months. So it's not a permanent position, but it's a contract role. And for that, I'll be expected to handle a team of 18 to 20 people uh, that are indexers and provide for the provide copy process. So today I got feedback uh, for the first interview, the senior team leader position. and. Nope, I didn't get it, but I'm really happy because I was second in line. So I got excellent feedback uh, in terms of the fact that she and the other person, Ryan, that were interviewing me at the time, were going on about how well I interviewed for the process. Uh, the only caveat was that the other person had a uh, comment in the department before for six months uh, for a leadership position so that in this case, they would hit the ground running versus me, which I would require training uh, because I have not done any team leaders roles. So it's not a bad loss in terms of that. So I'm really happy. The second one, uh, which is for the assistant manager position, I will find out more in the coming weeks. Probably next week I will follow up if they haven't come back to me. I would want to know for sure because this one, she said in the interview, I did really, really well. So, uh, she said she I slayed the interview. So who says that, right? So I really am looking forward to feedback on that one. I'm really crossing my fingers for that one because that would be a permanent uh, role. So I would never come back to my old apartment again. <laughs> so yay! So that's that for the interviews. Uh, for the next topic I want to touch on, it is my visit to, to Collingwood with my panda. So for that, we had a lovely getaway. Uh, we had a very spacious apartment of 800 square foot. It had a lovely dining table. It had a full kitchen with an oven, which was great. Uh, we also had a bathroom with just a shower, a rainfall shower, no bathtub, and we had a king size bed. And last but not least, we had a balcony. So we utilized everything in the apartment. Very, very nice. Uh, I really enjoyed the bed. It was very comfortable uh, when I was sleeping in that night. So comfy for a king size bed and the blankets were soft. So I slept like a log through the night. The sh rainfall shower is lovely. Any rainfall shower I really enjoy usually. And I love the part where my panda used the kitchen to create a lovely breakfast. Thank we you. had salmon. Uh, and we had scallops, and I had scallop wrapped bacon, so that's really, really tasty. An omelette was done as well, we had eggs, and we also had cheese as well, on mine at least. So yeah, I know the meal was made with a lot of love, so it was very yummy. And we also had lovely soup, uh, a corn clam a corn mushroom-based chowder, which was excellent. So I really enjoyed that overall for my breakfast. The highlight of this trip was the multi-course dinner that we had. It, we had a seafood tower, which is awesome. The tower entails a lobster uh, for each of us, as well as for him, the highlight was salmon. And for me, I had tenderloin beef. And we had various different seafood as well. We also had a few uh, oysters and we had, I believe, calamari. Oh yeah, we had those. Seaweed see. salad, octopus. Oh yeah, the octopus Muscle. was real. Octopus was part of the appetizer, and it was really good. It's not common that you like octopus, but that is actually quite yummy. Our drinks were lovely. I had pina colada, and my panda had a different drink. Citrus. So, oh, so I, they like three creamer. Yeah, so that those both were quite yummy. 
And we also, uh, thanks to our amazing server, Laura, uh, kudos to her. I've never had such good service in a very, very long time. I'd, she would actually check up on us and ask us if everything was fine. Usually I, I don't expect that, but she did uh, throughout the courses and it was amazing. So we also got uh, dessert for free because it was our five year friendship anniversary. And that also was quite yummy. It was something like, a, reminds me a little bit of a panna cotta, but it was like a pudding based dessert. So, yeah, lemon tart. Yeah, lemon tart. So that was very yummy. Hi, my love, <laughs> my loyal lion. Can we cheers, cheers. with your drink? So let's mm. get a pina colada meal. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. So everything is dark right now because I'm wearing sunglasses. But look, folks, we got the seafood tower and then also has steak. So they have the medium rare here. So we actually need to flip this because I don't want steak. But as we flip it, we can do a video and then we can watch people. Oh my yeah. god, this is my maple <laughs> glazed salmon. It's good. There's the calamari. So they tell us to eat from the bottom up, bottoms up. It's really cool, it's really gorgeous. And then we have mussels, oysters, lobster tail, seaweed salad. Um, no more lobster. It's shrimp. Mm. I love it. When was the last time you had a seafood plus mm. steak mm. tower, folks? This is my second time. First time with Leo. Last time was usually with my family. Very nice. Oh, I like maple glazed salmon. I just had salmon the other day for our Canada day on Thursday. That's okay. There's all, all these other seafood. And I just like seafood. This is like heaven for me. Exactly. Anyways, one more time. Cheers to five years. Cheers to five years. Thank you. During up and down, we are still together. Mm -hmm. After that, we went out walking in the marina. So this uh, stay was close to like a lakefront, which was very, very nice. Uh, we, it was like cool. When you're on like closer to a lake, it's not actually as hot because of like the breeze is blowing across the water. We walked around. We didn't actually do as much like athletic things we wanted to walk around and go for a long hike but we didn't end up doing so because it was actually much much hotter than normal we were supposed to go pedal boating but that didn't occur because one it was really hot and two in terms of safety the lake was a little bit more choppy than expected so we would have been limited to the marina itself with a lot of boats so they wouldn't be as fun and the pedal boat, I think, wasn't available for some reason because one was like capsized or whatever. So we ended up uh, being offered kayaks, but those are individual. So we have been separate and he, my panda was not um, confident that I'd be safe by myself. <laughs> but oh well, it's still good. We still got a lot of things done around there. We went to a golf course uh, for a Cranberry. short, for a short uh, drinks session. It was between three and six, but we didn't go for the entire time. I had beer and wine, <laughs> and he had something else, basically. I don't remember what. I had a ca cranberry, cranberry... Yeah, it was a sugar age based drink, so yeah. So we had that. After that, we were going supposed to go to the scenic cage, but we weren't eligible because we needed to have running shoes. But Now you know, it's not listed in the review, but you need running shoes, everyone! Yes. But we still ate, like, we had sweet potato fries that we actually, like, baked in the oven before we left. So we ate up those while we were there. So that was really good. Yay! I love my sous chef! Mwah! <laughs> Mwah! You can do it! Yay! Baby Leo's learning! Uh-uh-uh! So you try, try to put it only at the edge, because you might, you might put sauces and stuff on your hand, and you might get burned. Okay? The only burning I want... Oh. Ah! It's actually quite, it actually, yeah, what? That's okay, you're safe. Everyone remember folks, wear your oven mitts. Don't rush. Oh, look at these. We have scallop and they're gonna be glazed with maple or we have spinach sauce and we have the mixed vegetable summer puree sauce. Oh my gosh, it's a feast. <laughs> Yay. Feel so helpful today. Yay! We did it! Yay! I'm helping by recording. Yay! Now we have Evans. We have a sous chef here. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy to have a boyfriend like this. Yay! You're more helpful today. I'm so happy. 
Okay, so once it's done, <laughs> you're done for the day. Yay. Amazing. Thank you. And then you have to drive, but then other than that, oh yeah, do all the pedal. You also have to hike. You also have to like love you, love you, love you, sweet panda. Okay, thank you. but otherwise you're done. Yeah, so overall that's like a lot of the highlights of the trip, and I really enjoy my time with my panda. All right, that's good for this video. Thank you for watching. Mwah. See you guys next time.